No, yes, I appreciate you coming. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming. All right. Uh, the wastewater treatment facility financing is the same. Uh, our line item budget of $200,000 in, in the uh, Alabama budget did pass the House and the Senate, and we want to say thank you to Governor Riley and, and all of those. Uh, Senator Bedford and Bill Johnson, all them that went to work for us and helped us get that money. That, that would be a tremendous help for us. Uh, I will start working, uh, Sharon and I will start working about the middle of next month on the budget, and at that time I'll be calling y'all, uh, talking to you about your different departments and everything. Right, that, that's about it. Uh, all of you are aware that House Bill 175 passed, uh, which allows for the sale in municipalities of a population of a thousand or more, which makes us eligible to do that. Uh, basically, that's all we're going to talk about tonight until I can sit down and read the bill. If anybody would like a copy of it, I can get you a copy of it. I've also asked and have received the uh, zoning ordinance or the distribution law from Jackson, the city of Jackson, going to get Thomasville uh, to look at. And this is not saying that it's going to pass, that we're going to endorse it or whatever. I just think we need to be prepared if a petition is presented to us that we will have some things in place so that we don't come into a blind. And that's what I'm doing. Um, someone has to initiate that. Someone has to. We can act. Yeah, it has to be initiated as a petition uh, in the town limits of Chatham, and it will take 30% of the of the number of last voters in the municipal election, which roughly would be around 135, to sign the petition and then present it to us, and then we'll take action on it according to state law after that. Um, the personnel policy change on the insurance, we thought we may have to make a resolution, out, an ordinance out of it. We do not. All we have to do is pass a resolution to change the personnel policy where an individual can get insurance through their spouse uh, as long as they have proof to it. And that's what we talked about last week and our last month. Is there any questions about what we were talking about? All right, then is there a motion to allow this to, uh, for the resolution to change the personnel policy? where an individual can get on their, their spouse's insurance away from the town. Uh, is there a second? Ms. Jones, all in, any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed by not. Um, Dale brought to me, you know, we're talking out, we're talking down there, uh, we're looking at Elaine Beach's house going down towards Keith Beach's house. We had done some grass work and stuff on that slope there on our right of way, hoping that we could maintain it without doing any more work. Well, it's not. It's eroding quickly, and Dale suggests that we put a flume in there, a cement flume, to catch that water instead of it just washing it out, which basically would um, take care of most of the problem there. The cost of the flume is going to be around $3,400, and then to rework the sod and stuff around 200, so we're looking at a $3,600 expense. Uh, on, on Dale's recommendation to me, I was hoping Carl would be here where we could talk about it, but I recommend to the council that we do this uh, purchase of 3,400 for the cement and 200 for the grass to fix the erosion problem on that part of the Turner Drive. That's what it is. Where it comes out off the corner, it's just eroding the place, and we just can't keep enough dirt there. I haven't seen it. Well, it's just wetlands area. When we put our, our tractors in it and everything, it just ruins that part of it. And overall, it's just, we found out that it's just cheaper to go ahead and fix it. And then it's on It's on our right of yeah. It's, it, no, it's on our street right away. Yeah, yeah. Well, we can either keep riding through there with tractor tires and making mud holes, mm -hmm. we fix it. but it is on our right. Everything is on our right. There's nothing on any private property. You want a motion? No, I can make a motion to go ahead and fix it. Is there a second to fix it? Second. All in favor say aye. All right, uh, we had provided one of the benefits for our employees was a was um, a membership to the Chatham's Fitness Center, and we had worked with them on a 
specific price with the hope that everybody would go up there and work out. Well, we've done it for about six months, and basically we have three people that are very faithful in doing it. So I'm going to recommend that instead of doing that, that if a, a town employee, because we now have another gym open, that if a town employee goes and pays their membership, prove that they've been working out, that the town would reimburse it on a monthly basis instead of us paying one of the gyms for it. This would allow choice to either one of the gyms and it allowed them to keep hopefully physically fit. What's something in there that uh, they have to 